What's up, everybody? All right, so today, sorry about the camera movement. We are going to use the Cricut Maker to use some car, to make car decals, okay? And so if you guys are like, um, your area's a mess, I would say yes, it is. It's very much a mess. But uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. Also, don't forget to like uh, hit the bell. My hair is a mess, my beard's a mess. But that's all right, we're gonna work through it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, you guys probably won't be able to see that on here, but I'm just gonna kinda tell you what's going on. So we're gonna use the Cricut design, and instead of putting one of the logos on six by six and six by six and six by six, and there's a lot of wasted room on there, and I have the pink board, um, so it's just a little bit more stickier than the blue, uh, if you will. So what I'm gonna do is, I have now six emblems that I'm going to use, and I rearranged them on my page, whoa, like this, so then it kinda doesn't waste any space, which I can kinda show you guys. Uh, today, what you're gonna need is, I did some Oracle 651 white. You'll notice on the back that it does have a grid line there. Now, the grid line part does go down. Because this is really, really sticky stuff, uh, it's probably going to end up on the back of here, but it also helps me from it moving. So let's go ahead and kind of go down. If you guys are tuning in, you guys are more than welcome to chat and let me know where you guys are, where you guys are at, and what you guys are up to. All right. So what I'm going to do? I cannot do this without any music. I need some kind of music on. Let's see what what kind of music do I have today? Let's turn on some. Some little trap music, little trap music. All right, let's do this. Uh, what we're gonna do is put this bad boy on here. Oracle 651 It's a good product. I like Oracle 651. Maybe you guys have something that you guys use. Let me know what you guys are using out there. It may be different. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead over to my app. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit, I'm going to, let me see if I can bring you guys in. I'm going to focus, 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 camera focus. All right, not sure if it's going to focus or not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a box like this over everything. And I'm just going to hit the, hit the thing that says attach down at the bottom. You guys got that? All right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the word make. And it's going to say, mat uh, previews and use. Another project is ready on the mat. Just say it replace. All right. Now, here's the thing about um, heat transfer vinyl versus the 651 vinyl. You have to understand that anything that you're going to put on the window is going to be transferred over with some um, transfer paper. Which means that you don't need to flip it backwards any longer. Does that make sense? So you're gonna actually have it straight on. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and hit continue. And this one goes down to 10 inches, but I'm not gonna cut out that 10 inches and just in case it goes over a little bit or, or whatever the uh, necessary arrangement is. So then what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna center this, centerize this in the middle and how I do that is I just grab it on the um, green sheet here when it's in the making process. Hit make. And this is going to be different vinyl. So I'm going to, you're going to have to cut through this just a little bit deeper. So let's see. Um, I would like to go ahead and put vinyl. So it's good. The pressure is going to be a little bit harder down so it's going to be vinyl let me go back to that yeah let's do vinyl let's see what happens to this so then we're going to go on over bada boom bada bing we're going to put it in our machine let it ride let it ride and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back over and we're gonna let that, we gotta hit the cut button, Bland. You gotta hit the cut button. All right, now you'll hear that 
making in the background. So in the meantime, in the meantime, hopefully you guys are having a good day. I'm making a ton of shirts and the shirts are gonna say love like this for us Michiganders out here. And if you guys can't see it, it's this way here. So take a look at that. So we are doing that. And then now I have to weed this for my, uh, my shirts and it's lake hair don't care. So let's go ahead and weed this while this is in process. And real quick, I got these. This is like one of the tricks of the trade that I found out that helps me out. These are actually cutting boards from the dollar store. They're like these little plastic things. They work great for a cutting area or for like a um, area that I can weed out. So let's go ahead and do some weeding. I have too much vinyl up here, don't I? All right, you can never have enough vinyl. Well, I'm, hopefully you guys are having a great day. So real quick on here, I'm like such a, I don't know, frugal person. I wouldn't say cheap, but frugal would be a good word. You just never know when you might need some extra vinyl. So let's cut up and around. This weekend, oh my goodness, I was wasting so much vinyl. I wasn't cutting anything out like this. I didn't have the time. I was doing a shirt order. I had 25 shirts to do. Got no video of it, of course. I should have had a video of it. Shame on me. So, all right, this doesn't look like much, right? It looks like, what are you doing, Eric? But this is actually, it doesn't go over there, Blaine. It goes over here, and actually, that's gonna help me later down the way. And uh, if I need something, I can go to my scrap pile and I can go ahead and grab that out. So now, let's go ahead and uh, I really do need a work surface light. I know everybody uses those like sketch pads or whatever. I don't want to look in straight into the to the um, light like that, to be honest with you. I, I'm a window cleaner, so I own a window cleaning business. So it's uh, I'm looking at the light anyways all day off the glass. So it's already bad enough for me. But we're going to go ahead and weed this out. Let's go ahead and get some, uh, let's go ahead and get some Facebookers on so we can have them chiming in too. Uh, let's make, let's make some car decals we're doing right now it's on the printer Okay, okay, okay. everybody yeah who's calling why they're calling but um not today junior not today i'll probably end up trying to call back here in just a second but i don't know this is the view that facebook is going to have and this is the view that youtube's going to have so let's do this i'm finishing a project right now and i'll let that wait a minute hold on one second hold on facebook Oh, Facebook, we, we got to let you go. I'll be back here in just a minute. It won't let me. It will not let me do Facebook and my cricket machine at the same time. 
we're on business. Now, all right, so let's just keep weeding. And let that system run. What's up, what's up? Hopefully you guys are having a great day out there. Why is my cricket machine stopped? It's a no bueno situation here. This can't stop. We got to keep moving. I hope I didn't jar it from uh, being on Facebook Live. That would be just pretty disappointing. There we go. Man, that took a while, didn't it? Whew. What's going on? All right, so now we're just weeding out a different project. This is a uh, Lake Care, Don't Care uh, shirt that was highly recommended uh, to the booth and sought after. I have 15 shirts that need to have the saying on it, which is cool because this saying is small enough that I can fit two on um, a 12 by 12 roll. Now I also can do a 24 by 12 which will be nice if I wanted to do three at a time or four at a time or whatever it is. See, I need a work light over here so bad. All right, let's go ahead and weed the rest of this out. Let's get some music. I'm like a music kind of guy. Let's go ahead. We'll weed this out. Hopefully you guys had a good Martin Luther King Day. Uh, yesterday, today is Tuesday here in Michigan. It is freezing cold. Um, yesterday was around five degrees. Today around 20, and tomorrow is supposed to be in the 50s. And that's just the way Michigan is. It doesn't have no rhyme or reason. So if you were to come to Michigan, make sure you bring a winter jacket, a pair of shorts, and a jacket. <laughs> And maybe some flip-flops, who knows. All right, let's see, let's see what's going on. My, my cut is complete now that I don't hear my machine going crazy back there. And then we'll jump back on live Facebook and then I can share that uh, I do have a page that I can share with you guys over here on YouTube I got text messages coming in or on Facebook I have a Facebook page that is going to be designated I, I have a lot of questions coming in so all right here we go like here don't care bada boom bada bing by the way uh, if you guys are just jumping on um, the the uh, shop is going good, the, the little shop that I have. Uh, it was not open last Friday due to sprinkler system failure, um, so the, the fire department did not open them up. So, no big deal. Um, they're going to be opening this uh, Friday. So, Which I was so happy because I had my little man last week and there's just, it would be so bored. And being starting out, I mean, it really needed it. And by the way, I ordered cards for... For this business today, uh, yesterday, and I didn't get them, so um, I should probably call them and ask them where, where the heck it is, yo. Where the heck it be? All right, so let's go ahead. I don't know if I have any questions. All right, doesn't look like it. But let's go Facebook Live. Let's make. Car decals. And let's go ahead. Oh yeah, I gotta do it like this. Start video and then I have to turn it sideways real quick. All right, what's going on Facebook Live? We got YouTube Live over here and Facebook Live over here. All right, so we're gonna make some car decals today. And that is not a good way to start it out. Okay. 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 So, hold on one second. I think I got a better tool for this. 
I think I got some better tools to get it off the damn paper. So let's get this off the paper. Um, Adam, I got you, bro. You need one for the back of your truck? Uh, get a hold of me, and we will get you all together. Buddy, uh, Adam just uh, on Facebook uh, Live, he said he needed a car decal. And this is fucking up like piece of shit. So you have, excuse my language. Sorry about that if you have family watching. Um, but uh, this is going to have to be. What in the hell? All right, so let's just keep it on the board. Maybe it's easier doing that way. I, mind you, I've never done these before. But i got to learn quick because I have a shop that's opening up. And we have... Now, I've done one for my pickup truck. And it's huge. They're very, very big. But I've not done ones very small, like tiny ones that you would want to put in on your vehicle. Uh, which I'll show you guys here. I'll just show you. Let me just show you. This is all a learning process for me here. Now... This is Oracle 651, okay? And this stuff here is way better compared to the other stuff that I have. I don't know what I got myself into on that other stuff, because that stuff was horrific. Okay. Let me show you what I had. Let me go ahead here. Oh, you guys are going, whoa, you guys are going down. Man, let's see. I want you guys to kind of see what's going on too. So, let me move my cookies out of the way. There we go. Okay. Let me just weed this out here. This one is cool. This one is what you guys will see. Let me just kind of present this to you guys and show you guys what I'm kind of doing here. You guys probably can't even see what I'm doing. All right. So, let's go ahead. I'm weeding this out. And this is like the fun part about making t-shirts is the weeding part. Said no one ever. It was... This is never fun. But I'm telling you, Oracle 651, man, this is weeding so easily. My gosh, I'm loving it. Okay, so I've done one for the back of my pickup truck. Real simple letters, nothing too crazy. Uh, but this is a little bit more detailed work. And this 651 is whoo, by far amazing. That other junk, I might as well throw it away or something. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with it. And the other stuff smells horribly. So hopefully you guys are having a good day. Okay. So I got that off there. This is what it looks like. Okay. So I'm not going to cut these down. But I need to get this off of here. And so maybe this is an easier, easier way to get it off now. Let's just, you know what, let's just not, let's just, just not mess around. It messes up. We got tons more vinyl, so let's just peel back. Let's peel back. Let's peel back. Let's peel back. And let's see what the outcome is. Maybe not use such a damn strong as board the next time. Maybe I will use my my green one or my blue one. Maybe that's what's going to have to happen. I don't know. Seems to be okay. Okay. Well, there we go. I need to get this workstation cleaned up. This has got to be better. What's going on, Bland? All right, let's see. So I got that. And let's go ahead. And cut these out. Okay, so I'm cutting them out to like this, this length here, over here, and same thing. Now, the next time I might just do four on a piece of paper, just so it's easier to, to cut out. And I'll tell you why here in just a second. Actually, this is probably not going to work out. We're just, we're just learning here. Let's just learn together. Let's just learn together. This is for 
the back of your car. So it says home to Michigan. Yeah, this is too close. It's all right, it's all right. Here's that one. Here's this one. Just leave it like that, and then same thing here. Little boom, bada bing. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff. So now I have all these different little tiny papers, okay? So I have the one with a little gun on it, and the mittens holding the glove, okay? So now what we're gonna do and I had to modify all these things that I have. So I'm gonna take this transfer paper. Okay. And I'm gonna cut it like this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it right over top and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it right over top. Like so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to trim out, is I'm going to trim out very carefully around the edges still keeping some blue around the edges so it has edges still keeping some blue around the edges so it has something to stick to and then what I'm gonna do is I'll take my little squeegee Like so, and I will, like so, and I will definitely be doing these. So this is a nice test round. Um, but uh, now what from here, you're gonna go ahead and it will transfer, should transfer over to this paper. Let's just do a fun one for you guys. Transfer over, get rid of this paper. And so now it's on here. And now we can put it on a piece of glass, like your car or something. But what we can, what can we put it on? What can we? Oh, hey, look at this. Let's just put it on this thing. This is my <laughs> my bin. All right, and then I'm just gonna put it on here, like so. I'm gonna put it on our, my little bin. After this, this bin is empty, we're actually gonna, I use it for, um, and you can put this on a window or you can put it on a mirror or whatever you have. So if you have a saying or like something that you always say and you want some motivation, let me know and I can go ahead and get you the saying on here for you guys so it can go on there. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel this away, just like so. And you can see it. There it is. Ta-da! And it's crooked, but really, who cares? Because this is a garbage can. But it would take a lot more time if it was on going on a house or on a window for your um, car decal and things like that. But there you go. So I saw those for five bucks a piece. So if you need something, let me know. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and do the next one. Dun, 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 so let's do the Michigan one. And if you guys are getting transfer paper, okay, if you guys are getting transfer paper, I highly recommend that you go ahead and get the um, six inch, this is six inch by a hundred um, yards, but you don't need, I mean, goodness gracious, you don't need that much. Um, 
you could probably get less if you're just doing it around the house. Or you can get 100 yards and it'll last you for a while. I needed it because this won't last me but probably half a month, um, if that. So now I'm cutting out the Michigan. And it says home on there. And then I'm gonna make it look nice and neat. Nice and neat. Now, when I say I'm not going to cut it out like this the next time, what I mean by that, and I'll show you. Where's my, this is why it's always nice to have a nice area. All right, so then I'm going to go ahead. What I'm doing is I'm taking this part that says home, okay, which looked like this just a moment ago, like this, YouTube, like this, okay? Now I put the transfer sheet over top of it, okay, which is a roll like this. Sometimes it has lines on it so you can see. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking my squeegee, okay, not windows cleaning squeegee, but a regular squeegee, and I am squeegeeing this, voila. And you don't have to go like hardcore at this, it's just like a, a real sleek motion, okay, if you will. And then what you're going to do is let's use this on something. What can we use this on? Let me get something. What do I have that I could put this? Well, hell, let's go back to the same thing, I guess. Oh, yeah, I got an idea. I got an idea. We've got a chalk, I've got a little chalkboard here. So let's just go ahead and cut this chalkboard open. This is just a chalkboard I have laying around. When you own a crafting thing like I do, you just never know. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll put it like in the corner so you can still do some writing on it. So let's go ahead and just peel this back. I'll peel it on a flat surface. And this will be really nice for uh, by your um, for your car window or something like that. Okay. going on here okay okay and then now what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna take my time on this one here for a second and I'm gonna try to get it up on here to the corner so you can still write and you guys can't see it nor you guys so this is horrible videoing all right so just like this Now you see lines going across, but those lines won't be there when we get this squeegee done. Get all the bubbles out if there's any bubbles. This paper that I use as transfer paper is pretty amazing. So you normally don't have any problems with it. Alright, let me just I'm gonna say that now I'm having a problem with it. No, just kidding. Okay. rub it out with my thumb here too. All right, so then I'm gonna peel back. Hope you guys are capturing this here, in here. Boom, 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 boom. That little tiny part of the E Gave me a little bit of trouble, but no problem now. There you go. It's on a little chalkboard. There that is here. If you spray, um, if you spray your car windows or whatever with a little water, you can adjust the sticker. Yeah, you can adjust it pretty well and it will stick right on there. Uh, Dan had just said, absolutely. All right, so there you go. So we have um, a, a chalkboard. Uh, you can go ahead and write whatever, you know, if you have a short grocery list here 
or something. I wouldn't use um, chalk chalk. I would use those markers with fine pen, pen um, uh, chalk markers is what they they're what they're called or something like that. But that'd be cute in a log cabin or something. It'd be fun. You leave a little message for your loved one or whatever. But there's that. So let's go ahead. We'll tape another one up. This one here is the one Michigan hand. Wait, we have, uh, yeah, okay. Let's do this one, love, L-O-V-E, which is the Michigan. Let's go ahead and do this one. Transfer paper. No, we won't need a big sheet for it. We we'll just need about that much. Let's go ahead and cut these. These are nice, um, I call them smalls. Uh, because I'm able to get small amount of money for these. These are something that people can come up to the booth and grab and go. So if they don't have 20 bucks or they don't want to, or 25 bucks for a shirt, they don't want to do it, whatever. Um, they don't want them or, or whatever, but they still, you know, want something from the booth. They can take these home for five bucks and away you go. And again, I'm not doing this on there hard. It's a light. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I can cut this out. Cut it out this way. I was being a little stubborn. Hey, aren't we all a little stubborn sometimes? All right, just like so. So quiet in here, I hate quiet. All right. So there we go. Now what we can do, let's find something that we can stick on on this. I didn't think about, hey, you should probably have something. I don't know, what do we want to stick on this? I'm looking around for something that I could put this on. I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep this one for sales, I don't know. Now let's put it on something. Hold on, let me, let me find something. Well, hell, this is not supposed to be over here. This is for a shirt for later. All right, um, what to stick it on? All right, we'll just use this bin, I guess. It's kind of a waste. Mm -hmm. Still looking, <laughs> what, what could I put it on? I wonder if I could put it on this. Let's see, what, what would it go on my can? We're all gonna learn some things now. Nope, it won't go on the can, it's too big. Um, took all my chalkboards over to the thing. No more chalkboards. I'll hell with it. You know what we'll do? I know what we'll do. Fuck. Oh, sorry about that, Bob. I just knocked all this over. All right, I'll just do a piece of paper like this, and then this will be kind of like an idea of what I have, so they can be like, I want number one, or number three, or number 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna go ahead. Oh, we're all just having fun tonight, aren't we? It's been super cold here in Michigan. I don't know if it's been cold where you guys are. Supposedly we're gonna have 50 degree day tomorrow, which is just Michigan. If you've ever been to Michigan, you understand. All right. Yeah, this is a good idea. So then people will be like, yeah. Now if the damn thing comes off the paper, that'd be off the transfer papers when I'm Never know until you try. Am I working? It's working, I think. It's like cardboard paper, it's like a hard stock paper. That works. Ta-da! So 
let's do that with the the gun one. Oh, transfer paper. Let's get some transfer paper on here. This will be fun for the people, because then they can just go ahead and look at it and say, yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take one of those. I like how you guys are on here with me in this learning learning part. Rip that off. Alright, let's go ahead and trim up the blue. And because we're going on the because we're going on the um, board right away, I won't have to worry about making it all look all that pretty as it's coming out, because it's just gonna come right out, just like so. So now we transfer it over. I'm gonna transfer it over to the board here. I'm gonna put it on here straight this time. over it with the squeegee just for a second. You guys have a horrible view. They have actually a great view. Of actually both. Andy Wilson, I gotta call you back. You called me today. Alright, so there we go. Got this done too. So that's the Michigan mitten that's holding there. And let's do, we already did love. Let's do the Michigan, the home one. I can do the little people on your back window. Uh, you're like little family. Um, if you want that done, I can do those. Just let me know. Um, I can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this stuff. I can do a whole uh, background for your business. Obviously, it's a lot more than five bucks. Just these are five dollars here. Okay. And same thing, because it is going on that cardboard paper, I really don't have to worry about cutting the blue perfect. If I was to do a cardstock on this so that they could take it home and put on their own window, I would. I have some squeegees coming too, so then the people can buy those squeegees as well. But since, like I said, it's just going on this paper, we're just going to rip it right out, just like so. And the E didn't give us a problem on that one. Gonna go ahead. And do this. We're just gonna go ahead and squeegee over. And we're just gonna pull this back. And so this will be a good indication of what we have. So this is like nice. This is killing two birds in one stone here. Taking that off. And so there you go. Just did this one. It says home. And so now I can set that up. It said, what do you want? Number one, two, or three? Which one of these would you like? And um, I'll have another one down here in the bottom right hand corner. So there'll be four. And this will be, I'll just put five dollars. You can have any one of these that you want for five bucks. Or do something two for eight or something. I don't know. Probably not. Probably just five bucks a piece. All right, so there we go. I have a shirt I gotta do. I don't know if you guys wanna stay on for that. Let's go ahead and heat the press up. That should have been heated up. Tonight we're going to do a Bella Canvas um, black large shirt. I've been doing them all week. This is kinda sick, right? This is kinda cool. 
I'll take a dare and sell that for five bucks too. Or, I don't know, eight bucks or something, I don't care. All right, let's go ahead and get this print. Let me set you guys up over here so you guys can see what the heck I'm doing. Great job videoing today, Eric. Great job. Great job. I like how you're videoing. Said no one ever. This is way too damn shaky. All right. And you guys can just flick around here. And there we go. Let me move this chair out of the way. So we are at, uh, we're going to heat this shirt up to three, or the press up to 330 degrees. And we're going to press it down for 15 seconds, but we're going to take the moisture out of the shirt first. So let's go ahead and get that going. Once it gets to, a, it's 103 degrees right now, but once it gets to, I don't know, let's say 200 degrees, 225, something like that, I like to go ahead, take the moisture out. So the love that you guys, you guys seen on there, on the little board, is now going to also be on a shirt. So we're gonna throw it right here on the shirt. Now I'm also going to, I, these are cutting boards, but I use them for my My weeding areas and so what I can do is you can take this stuff reverse it okay if you will and you can put it on the back of here you'll reverse it on the um, yeah on the 651 and you can do a cool little cutting board if you will like this so just all kinds of ideas. Your mind can go crazy, actually, if you own a, uh, a vinyl cut. I'll just put the vinyl in here. Got all this vinyl laying all over the place. Look at this roll of vinyl I just got. I'm stoked about that, it's so much vinyl. I've got 13 more rolls coming. I don't know what I keep buying this shit for. Oh, cause I got a business now. All right. So love and then home in it, but then I figured, you know, what if I want to wear it? I'm gonna wear like some of this like home and like little girly writing. But it's something I could do. So I'm gonna take the moisture out now. We're almost at 200 degrees. I'm just gonna go ahead and press it. I don't know, seven seconds, something like that, just to get the moisture out. We're taking the moisture out of the shirt. It's gonna be a lot easier to go ahead and set this down. And and it uh, de wrinkles it too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and uh, avoid the sticky side. So don't put sticky side to sticky side. But what I'm doing is I'm creating a middle for my for my work, so I know where the middle is. I'm going to do three finger lengths below the neck collar. One, two, three. And as soon as that gets heated up, we are ready to let this shirt ride. And this may actually become my shirt. I wear a size large now. I'm getting fat by the minute here. And if this stays on, I'll show you. Yeah. So this is what it will look like. Turn around here. We're heating up pretty quick. 
I should have turned that press on. So now we can clean up. A lot of clean up over here. Waiting for that press to heat up. And then I gotta get out here because I got a bunch more shirts I gotta do. I have 36 shirts I gotta do before Friday. 36. Hi everybody on the Facebook world over here. Let me see if there's any questions over here. I don't even know how I got to them the last time, to be honest with you. Good to have you guys all on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, well. I'll just leave it. Wait. We'll leave it go. On here, I can see all everybody messaging. This is like watching water boil. So I set the shop up just to kind of talk to you guys while this thing is loading. Um, let me take you guys over here. You guys have the best view over here of everything. But um, so the shop was supposed to open last Friday. It didn't. The sprinkler systems failed um, for the fire department. The fire department came in and was like, no way. Um, absolutely not. You guys can't open. So the owner of the building started to do some more work on it. And all the vendors are like, oh, no, we're not opening. And I'm over here going, yes, we're not opening. And the reason I was so excited that we weren't opening is because uh, my son was with me. And he's six. And he doesn't want to be there every weekend. And I'm not going to be there every weekend. I'm going to be there every other weekend. And then on the weekends I'm with my son, I will go up there for a few hours on Sunday and be up there all day Friday until I get them. And then that's it. And uh, Saturday, uh, we may pop our head in there for an hour or something. But... I don't want to take that time away from my son because dad had a good idea and wanted to open a shirt business. I'm going to still have that quality time with him because that's more important than any kind of money to me. We're going to let this set for 12 or 15 seconds. Let's let this ride. Boom. Let's go ahead and let this... Peel, this is a hot peel, so we can just peel this hot. That's what that means. When it says this is a hot peel, what that means is you can peel it hot. All right, just took it off. So now we're going to set it back down for another 15 seconds. I'm going to show you guys this. I'm going to hop off of here and let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your evening. Because it's got, I mean, this is like a boring episode. Boring episode, Eric. Boring. Especially if you're over here where we are like... 48 minutes is an hour. All right. There we go. Look at that press. You know you get a good press when you can see the fabrics coming through the vinyl itself. Love it. There we go. So you guys can see. Super excited. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. This one's probably going to be mine. See you guys here in Facebook world. YouTube world, thanks for everything. Thanks for chiming in. Thanks for commenting. Let me know what you guys do. Uh, maybe you guys do something different. So maybe I can learn something. I need to learn as much as I can possibly learn. I'm uh, When it comes to window cleaning, I'm still learning. Uh, power washing, uh, gutter cleaning. Um, I have a nonprofit organization that I run too. Uh, that one, let me post this. Uh, upload on... Oh, they do that. Uh, so I do that, and then I have another company coming out for like beard oil. My brother wanted to join in on that. I don't. I don't know what I feel about that. It's gonna be crazy. I have too many things going on right now. Too many. Uh, too many things going on in the kitchen, I believe. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, we're gonna make it work. Make it go, and then that way we can have a lot of uh, funnels coming in. So more funnels, the more money, right? But look at this. Look at this. This is cool. This is a good idea.